Hello everyone and welcome to an episode of Jurassic World, the game you thought I'd forgotten it! Maybe I had? I don't know. You don't know my mind. Maybe I did, or maybe I didn't. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, today we are here because there is a tournament going on over the weekend. Um, and it is for the bear if we go into news, which is always a good thing. Uh, oh, it's not there. Why is it not there? Hmm. Interesting. Probably because it's going on now. Ah, here it is. March matches. Get your tournament on. For the month of March, there will be a new tournament every weekend. Uh, so you need to be level 60 plus um, in order to unlock it. I think if you're level 12 to 59, you can get it, but you don't unlock it, which is so weird. Um, also, I had somebody mention to me um, what's going on with this game. Because at the moment, the way I play it, obviously I've unlocked everything. Or most things have unlocked, apart from new things. Um, however, what's happening is Ludia is changing how you unlock dinosaurs. So if I go into the market, now normally what it used to be is you would go through the battle stages and you would unlock every dinosaur, kind of. Um, however, now Amber Market is, I think, the only way to either buy or unlock dinosaurs or certain dinosaurs, so everything in here, um, you can't unlock by progressing. You could be level 99 and still not have a Parasaurolophus unlocked, which is ridiculous if that is the case. Um, but they have told me that this is what's happening now. So yes, I have all of these, but stuff like um, Pelicomimus, you can't unlock normally. You can't unlock Tijongosaurus, Columbio, Giga, Allo, Nozudoceratops, Pyro, Tyranno Titan. So, like I said, that's what I've been told. If that is the case, that's really shocking. Because a lot of these creatures, oh, you know, they 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 need um, hybrids. You, need, you know, you need to spend thousands upon thousands to get them to level eight or you know to you know fuse them to eight times um and the only way to get them is to buy them in the amber shop so if i want chronosaur for instance um i don't know if i can even get another one if we look at uh we'll go in here so su superosaurus i've already got like i kind of want to find a dinosaur that i don't have ready um so elasmosaur for instance here we go elasmosaur now am i able to actually get a um, without doing the amber market. So what I'll do is I'll quickly go in here. Uh, well, let's have a look. Elasmo, Elasmo. Is that it? That might, this is Elasmo. So let's say I want to buy one. No, I can. Okay, never mind. Okay, maybe, maybe not all of them. <laughs> but it's here. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's what I've been hearing through the grapevine and and there's no way of me being able to verify that without actually starting a new account and playing the whole game through, which, let's be honest, I can't really be bothered. Can anybody know? I don't think so. <laughs> um, so, well, I mean, today is going to be an episode of this. Of course, we'll have an episode of Horizons of the Dawn as well. Or Horizon Forbidden West. Because <sighs> I'm terrible at remembering how to say the name. Um... But we're going to obviously, you know, do the classic, completing it. I don't even remember what I called these videos with the tournament unlocked or maxed, completed. That's it, completed. That was the one I used to say. The tournaments are completed. Yes. Still don't know why the algorithm chose to promote the Archelon tournament video the most for what was months. It, it honestly felt like months. Didn't matter what I uploaded. My number one video, for whatever reason, that month was the Archelon video. And I have no idea why. But there might be an answer to it that I've recently found out. Oh God, oh come on, I was clicking it. I've got no fingertips apparently. <laughs> it doesn't pick me up. Um, yeah, I think I might have discovered what was the cause of the success of that video. Now, I started doing uh, short videos or shorts when Jurassic World Evolution 2 came out. And it was, you know, things attacking other things or um, more notably, uh, aquatic creatures eating turtles. And out of all of my shorts, you know which video did the best? Two videos, actually. It was Megalodon eats turtle whole. 
Turtle. Turtle. Why? Why is Turtle doing so well? Your, your, your guess is as good as mine. As mine. But it made me think that actually the reason why the Archelon tournament did so well wasn't because it was an Archelon or like a Jurassic World the game video, but because it was a turtle. So we need to find turtles in every game and make videos on them. <laughs> it's the only way we must make money and money is through turtles. I don't know what it is about turtles, but apparently it's a... Uh, YouTube's algorithm really likes turtles and promotes turtles loads. There's somebody head of YouTube who really likes turtles. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Uh, so there we go. We'll finally get some DNA because, oh my God, I'm really um, needing as much DNA as I can get here. In fact, I kind of tempted, instead of selling, oh, I can't. Oh, I can't sell. Oh, I can. Hold on. You got 200. You know what? Instead of getting VIP points, I kind of just want to sell all my John Hammond statues for DNA. It Like, I just need DNA and I don't want to sell any more stuff. And if I can get about 700 DNA a day from just selling John Hammond statues, I'll do it. I'll do it, damn it. Uh, so, ooh, Inspire, that's a good one. However, I don't really use mods. So even though it's really good and not worth the bucks, just going to do it anyway. Uh, let's see what else we get. Anything for books? Oh, I don't really want to do that, but you know what? Books are in short supply. Especially if we're going to unlock a, um, Arctodus. I think that's the bear. Uh, I think it's Arctodus because it's the same in Jurassic World Alive. That, however, is definitely not worth it. That, however, is worth it. I want like a ba 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 but I... I don't think that works because I haven't got that hooked up. We can't, we can't do MLG air horns. <laughs> I make what a cry. Baby go boo hoo. Right, so I think we've got one more pop at the 50. No, that's it. Okay, we'll sell a Stegosaur for 94 bucks. Heck yeah, we will. Uh, so we were prepping before we enter um, the tournament. So let me just uh, grab as much as I can there. Um, I've already grabbed all of that. That's fantastic. Grab a little bit of that. And yes, I've also been told, because I thought, I don't know why I thought, but um, I thought that these creatures, uh, the max level was 40. It isn't. Look at that. There's a friggin' prestige on this. So in order to prestige, you need 5,000 amber and you unlock a new type of an attack. So unlock a new prestige rank for your creature, receive, um, you know, up to a max level 50, 5,000 man, and a primal roar. And I think I've been told the highest level is 60, maybe even 80. So we could go beyond level 40, but only for these guys. So if we can look at these moves, so that's for level 50, and that is for level 60. So increase team HP by 50% and increase team attack by 50%. Deal damage equal to 250% of attack power to opposing creature. Reduce attack of by 24%. So this is really interesting. So now when it comes to these creatures, we kind of want to look at what this does. So reduce damage uh, percent, uh, max X percent, and gain a percentage in that. Gain two attacks. And what's this one? Swap attack power and HP for one turn. Interesting. So if I'm really low HP, I can swap it for my attack and just have a certain amount of attack. Interesting. Um, we'll do one. Oh, it's a 10. Oh, and it's a power. Ooh, a super. I didn't expect to to have that. I was, ex you know, usually, I, or at least in my head, I was thinking, you know, the, the better the creature, the better DNA we get. But apparently not. James has been playing this game for God knows how long. Did I start? Oh, that wasn't very good. Oh, I apologize. Um, did I start this game in 2014? I feel like it must have been 2015. It must have been in, like, March sometime in 2015 before before the movie came out, right? It must have been. Remember the hype? Oh, I remember it just like it was yesterday. God, I'm so old. Oh, it was great. I remember, oh, like, the, the, the Argentinosaurus, the way it looked. And I remember asking, because Argentinosaurus doesn't look that way anymore. And I've probably said this, you know, a million times in videos. And I apologize if it's a million times you've read it or heard it. But yeah, I was just kind of curious and I actually did ask why Argentinosaurus was swapped. And look at that. Look at Mudskipper. That looks so pretty. Ah. Um, but yeah, it was swapped out because apparently they thought it was ugly. I didn't think it was ugly. I thought it was pretty. But all right. What else? Uh, so we're going to swap all the way down. 
to the bottom of the sea. Uh, I don't even know. Like, all of these are even still too good. Uh, Pyraptor level 40? What? Uh, 80 attack nerfed is probably still enough to take out an amphibian. Oh! Oh! Yeah, we're, we're, we're just going to quit that. Um, okay, so it's that kind of tournament. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Um, did not see that coming at all. Uh, right, Lydia's just decided to throw me a curveball and has went, you know what? Nah, you got, oh, you know what? May as well, may as well. We're, we're slowly getting towards the other super hybrid. It is the Tapijara hybrid. Um, so before we do the tournaments, now I know what the tournaments are. You, every now and again, it'll throw one of those in. It'll be like, actually, it's not based on, you know, the the level you're in. However, good news is, usually when it's a tough, tough one like that, okay, usually when it's a tough one like that, um, they're shorter. So maybe we won't need to do as many battles for it. I'm hoping. Probably because we get even better cups for it. So look, it's Mr. Quackers. Remember when I used to edit? Oh, ah! And put the goose sound effects in for when it used to do its roars? That was great. <laughs> ah, how we've changed. Oh, man. It's it's all been, a, it's been an experience. It honestly has. Um, and I, I think maybe I haven't changed the way I edit, you know. Um, but actually, I have. I've changed a lot. And I, I sometimes I, I do think, no, maybe I haven't. Maybe I do need to you know, refresh myself or, or try something different. But actually, no, um, I, it's just like a thing that happens over time, which is quite interesting. Have we got a fan on? Oh, yes, we've got the fan on. Is it slightly a little bit warm? So how, how tough is this going to be? Uh, yeah, yes, actually very tough because there is a spinal raptor there even. Triceratops Gen 2. Um, this is all right because the... What is that? It's like um, Giraffe Titan, is it? I think it's Giraffe Titan. Giraffe Titan can come and do two attacks, kill Triceratops Gen 2, and have one reserve left. So meaning, even if Spino comes in, I can still kill it. And it's not, it's not, it's Sonarosaurus. Interesting. Ooh, okay, so one, two, and then one reserve. I apologize, I got a yawn for a second. Ooh, it's not boring. I don't know where this came from. This, uh, this like, oh, if you yawn, you're bored. If you talk loads, you yawn. It's just like, you know, oh, just the way it is. Also, how many of you guys yawned just now? You did, didn't you? You didn't? You're a liar. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I, used to, I remember doing that as well. That was before face cam. I would just go yeah, into the mic and then I'd catch people who were yawning. That it was that. And I would say, you're on the toilet, aren't you? And then people, oh, how does he know? <laughs> for the very small subgroup of people who watch my videos are on the toilet and also yawn. I got you. I know who you are. <laughs> uh, so I kind of actually want to be a bit cautious here because, uh, I mean, even at four attacks, this Protogrinus, Protogrinus, or Protogrinus, uh, can do a lot of damage at four attacks. Um, however, the Spinoraptor is pretty deadly. And kill it in two hits. One, two, one, two. And then I have to go for four just in case. Um, and luckily, he can't do anything to me. Uh, there's a chance that he could have had six attack here. Um, but even then, I've, I've got four block. Look at this. We're not even focused on on quackers. It's the squackers. <laughs> We're focused on my dinosaur, which is fine. I don't mind that. Oh, you go for two? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, one, two, three. I have to go for that in case he's went for two reserves. Uh, because two hits is not going to kill him. Unfortunately, I think it would do about 800 to 900 damage. And he has a thousand health. Okay. I think I may be able to kill him now. I think he only had four. So one extra will kill him. <laughs> and it did go. Yeah. That's, that's how Brachiosaur attacked its, its victims in real life. There's recordings that he's to whack his head against them. <laughs> what a wash. Right, so that is 20. Yep, thought so. It shouldn't be. It should be way more. Uh, but that takes us to 
Prey League. Sweet. We're going to complete it, guys. We're going to do it. I'm going to put a turtle in the thumbnail. <laughs> Should we do it? I want to test it. I want to just put a turtle in the thumbnail and see what happens. Just have it, have it, you know, laid out exactly like as the Arctodus, but just put a turtle in there. <laughs> and everyone who would click on it would be like, what? there's no turtle in this. What's he talking about? But you guys will know. You guys will know who have, who have stuck all this way through. Um, right. Ah, it's too low. I don't know what I'm facing. That's the problem. It could be really tough. Sarkasukas. What ifs? Let's go for it. Let's see what we're facing up against. I think this tournament might have started yesterday. Um, now, what I like to do... Eh, I still should be getting more than two, 20 cups for this, though. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's interesting because I like to try and do the tournament as soon as they come out. Because, for one, we can get to dominate a league super quick. And two, it saves time. <laughs> Um, right, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then Sarkasukas is a little bit, ooh, a little bit touch and go against a Pterodactylus here. In fact, it is very bad for me because I can't kill him in two hits. I'd have to go for three, and then Pterodactylus could kill me in two. This is very bad. Uh, okay, so please go for one. I'd love if you went for one. Please do. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brill. So I can go for three, leaving me with two block. Right, so one, two, three kills it. Um, right, worst case scenario, he has three. Two, four, six. Yeah, I can just go for two reserve. Can't kill me. Even if it swapped to Soprano Titan, um, it's not going to do enough damage to kill me in one. Oh, this actually turned out really well. Yay! <laughs> Never mind. So three. Hmm. Okay, it actually goes for two. Uh, so maximum of one block. Soprano Titan has an attack of that. Okay, so one, two, three, factor in one, and then two. Right. Um, we've won. Yes, because it's about 250. So if it does two attacks, it can do about six, seven, 700 damage, maybe? 750? And it goes for one, meaning it's got one block. We kill it in two. We can do a max of three. So we may as well do three. And four go through. Bam! 5,501. Right. More than 20 cups? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. It's got to be. It's got to be more than, more than that. Oh, come on! That, that was such a hard battle. You bugger you. What they've done is they've swapped out the battles, right? But they haven't swapped out... Like, they've swapped out what you face against. But they haven't swapped out the rewards. So, under, like, on the surface, it looks like a really hard battle, right? Because it is. But the code still thinks it's put in, like, level one commons. That's what they've done here. They've made what you face up against easy, but they have not tweaked the uh, the rewards. Like, the game thinks that it's putting me up against level 1 and level 10 commons, but then for whatever reason, something also about the game's code is, is putting me up against these things, which is very strange, because normally it's a case of, you know, was that close to your average team power? Yes, well, then you get good rewards. Um, and this one's another hard one because I'm facing up against a Oster Flipposaurus. Um, yeah, we're gonna need some... This is really bad news, this one. Um, because I don't think I can kill this guy in two hits. Oh, I can. Then again, Ichthyostega can kill me in two hits as well. So, uh, one, two, and then one block. So at least we get rid of the Scapagonathus. Then I'm going to have to switch in the Guanlong, go for two reserves, fodder it off, and then just see where we're at. Because if this goes for two attacks, uh, which it does, oh wow, okay, uh, it's not looking good for me at all. Um, good news is Pelicanopteryx uh, can't kill me in one hit, and that is big news. Because if it could, I'd be, I'd basically lost, I would have closed it by now. But there is a chance for me to survive this. It is very small. I mean, very small. Um, now, I need to... Uh, yeah, I've lost. Okay, yeah, yeah, lost. Yeah, nothing I could do there. I needed to kill the Ichthyostega in three hits. 
and I don't think I could do it. Um, because then that would leave me with three block. And I, if I get hit by two hits, that's it. Okay, so apparently this is a really tough, tough tournament. Uh, I will keep on sticking these guys in just because if I put in a level uh, one Guanlong in first, it, it means that my best creature that is in second place gets three, uh, you know, attack points to do with whatever it wants to. And the fact is, this game doesn't seem to be rewarding me for putting in uh, like really le low level creatures, so it doesn't make a difference. Um, What's going to make the difference is if I can get these battles over with quicker, therefore saving me time. <laughs> that's the that's the goal here, is to save me time. So, yeah, Dionicus, yeah, you kill it. Yeah, off it goes. Die. Bye-bye. In comes you. Actually, uh, really annoyingly, doesn't kill it in one hit. Uh, it's so close. Like, 78? 78 attack off killing it, I think it was. Something like that. Uh, a Margasaur. Still can't kill it into it. Good lord. It's like it was the perfect team to annoy me. <laughs> Dinos. Say, so, hey, look, it's picky eyes, guys. Eyeballs. So I got something in my eye. Oh my god, it's, it's a pteranodon in my eye. Oh. Right, so that was one attack, I think it was. I'm just going to go for that. Even if I had one block, which it wouldn't have, because I didn't think about the swapping in, because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're pretty much done. Uh, I should have had two reserves here and not even went for any block because it definitely can't kill me. Uh, so there's a chance. And there's not a chance that it survived. Oh, oh, cool. oh I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, I don't know why I'm apologizing. I am not sorry. No, I am. I'm sorry. I like on life. <laughs> Pride Road on. Who wins? Please be more than 20. Please. Oh, finally. Why did it almost give me like max cups for that? What? Oh, by the way. Yeah, actually, you're right. That was a tough one. And the other ones weren't. Okay. Oh, I would love to win the Octodus pack. Oh, coin. Thank you. Thank you. That is, I mean, that's what I come here for. Is Octodus coin. Oh, that sounds like it's a Bitcoin. Not a Bitcoin. How about a level one? Indoraptor Gen 2. We'll give that a shot. One more up against Quan. Don't be loads of amphibians. Oh, that's fine. Just one really powerful amphibian. Fine, fine. Actually, what's good about this is that, yes, uh, I am up against Ostrobosaurus straight away with only three, which I think I can kill it. Um, like, what's my attack? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, in fact... I may be able to kill it in two. 300. It's going to be very close. I think it's just going to be over enough to kill it. Let's have a look. Come on, please be two. Please be two to kill it. Yeah, damn it, it's not. Okay. But what's good is Pachygalosaurus does not have really good attack. It's very low attack. Yeah, 449. Not good. Ooh, that's almost exactly 10% of my total health. I got 4,490, and it's got 449, 449 attack. Ooh, but Udon, however, I think Udon has a lot more attack. Yeah, so I'm going to go for two block, one reserve, because it does have a lot of health, however. I just wanted to go for all attack. I went for all attack really good and it's not doing it which means that i'm gonna have to kind of switch to guanlong and just fodder it off saves time gives me max uh max attacks and we're good i think we're, we're what are we in we've done hatchling we've done prey we're into survivor now next is silver gold and dominator and i think it should be pretty quick maybe it is just been today it started and uh, maybe we'll end up rocketing through them pretty quick okay now i don't remember how much how much it went for then uh so i'm gonna factor in two because that's always the best way and then the rest could be in block oh oh damn now did i get lucky did it have one in reserve or or does always factoring in two just work perfectly work perfectly. In fact, I probably could have went for two block on one reserve. So, you know what it is? I'm just going to go all out here. Ha ha ha! Yes! Beautiful! Your Tyrannus is dead! 
Yes, do the roll. Always do the roll. So how much that time? 40. Oh, thank you, game. A little bit late on that one. Okay, so we're almost. Top 25%. As if. Do you notice how they don't use the pictures of people anymore? Do you notice how they don't use the names of people anymore? I love that they did. I love that for a time, this game, Jurassic Park Builder, was using pictures of real people who had signed up to their Facebook, you know, through Facebook, and was just like, yeah, just use their faces, use their names, it's fine. I wonder why they changed it. I, I wonder, I wonder what caused that. Did they, like, did they get sued? I say this every time, because it's just interesting. It's one of those questions that will bite at me until I have the answer, just niggle at me. And it's like the Argen Argentinosaurus, like, why did they swap out that model? It looked great, I loved it. And then it was just all of a sudden, yeah, one of them was, was someone in the group was like, nah, that's ugly, don't have that anymore. It was it ugly, it was nice, I liked it, it was all chonky chonk. Uh, a bit like Hungry Shark, Hungry Shark, all of a sudden, just decided to get rid of the seal and swap it with a new seal model. And even like, because Hungry Shark was divided between, like originally it was just FGOL, it was all in London. And then Ubisoft took it over, and then Ubisoft handed off a lot of Hungry Shark to the Barcelona branch. So Barcelona, Ubisoft, was, you know, working on it, and they changed it. And then the original creators of Hungry Shark were having their game changed, not even knowing why changes would happen. It's crazy. Publishers, man. It's interesting. Really interesting. I'm pretty sure I was never under NDA to, ch to say that. <laughs> so I think I'm good. I think I'm good. The secrets that go on behind closed doors. So, oh, we did it. There you go. Another quick match. Very tight, though. Victory indeed. Right, 40. Thank you. Thank you. G keep giving them to me. Yes. Hunter. Top 10% now. That was so good. So good at the game, man. So good. So good. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, I guess I'll take some DNA. I guess I will. All right. Um, a new league. Let's... We're having to use, like, really high-level dinosaurs here. I mean, I don't have to, I suppose. I could use, you know, a, a decent team and not waste it with two terrible dinosaurs. But like I said, I... It's all about time management. And this is this is one of those where it's just like, this makes more sense to me. Oh, this is the uh, the latest hybrid, the Iguano Suchus. Yeah, like Sarkasuchus uh, Super Hybrid, I think it was an Iguano though. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't, um, was it Gripo? Yeah, I think it was Gripo Suchus, not Sarko. I think Sarko's already got a hybrid. Okay. So we are against a level 10 Erlophosaurus. And unfortunately, again, we're just shy of killing it. Um, that's interesting. Because that's the death animation of the Iguanodon animation in Jurassic World Alive. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, it goes for one. Now, I am pretty sure that Sukamimus, I don't even need to look at this. Oh, however, maybe it will have enough to kill me now. At level 35, it's like 300 attack? Yeah. Now I'm a bit worried because it might have four. It will have four. That's not enough to kill me. It might do max like 2,000 damage if it did go for it. Uh, but I... Oh, again, I'm just shy of killing it. Why? Every time. You little bugger. Every time I'm just shy of killing it. You know what? Sod it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it looked like they were actually interacting there. Ooh, who'd have thunk? But they didn't. No, 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 no. Indominus, Indominamo. 199. Okay, takes us 254. We're gonna get that, guys. We're gonna get to Dominator League. It is gonna happen. Remember, every time we go up another league as well, we get even better rewards. So we may as well do this again, like I said. Oh, Colum, color, color. <laughs> What's it called? Col, col, it's a C. I know it's a C, it's Colorimbia. Something like that. I think this was 
it was one of the dinosaurs that wasn't instantly released when the game came out. It came out later, even though it is a common. And that's something we don't see too often. I clicked it! You bugger you! Yeah, you don't see dinosaurs releasing that aren't the best anymore. Like, they did release Monlophosaurus was one, Ophicodon was one, uh, this guy was one, and then they released, of course, the common hybrids. But they very rarely release a dinosaur that isn't, like, the best. It isn't, like, a tournament creature, or it isn't a VIP creature, or it isn't a super hybrid. Uh, Mastodon. Mastodonosaurus! Heck yeah, that's a really- that's a safe bet, I feel. High chance of, uh, there being a carnivore. Oh, yes! Yes! We gotta kill two of them in one hit. However, this one poses a little bit of a problem. However... We can kill it in two hits. I think, yeah. That would be like 3,800 damage, maybe more. Yeah, cooler sutures, or cooler sores, I should say. This isn't the hybrid. Oh, it is the hybrid. Ah, I forget how terrible you are. I, I remember I was going to make a video of like the top 10 worst dinosaurs in Jurassic World the game after I made the top 10. Um... And then I just never did. I don't I don't know. I was, I was like, what is the worst dinosaur in the game? Like, that would be a fun list to do. I've been playing this game for so long. A, a fun idea would be, what is the worst dinosaur in the game? Well, you know, a few of the worst dinosaurs. Because there could be other reasons as to why they're the worst. Maybe their animations are, like, take so long that it's like, oh, for God's sake, just get over with. Or maybe they're super expensive. Maybe they just have really bad attack or bad health. Or maybe they're just awkward to find because they're in the middle of the roster when you're searching for dinosaurs, so you never use them. Uh, because I think I put Triceratops in in my top 10 because not only is it like the first dinosaur you get to level 40, but it allows you to grind through missions that ask for uh, a few level 40 herbivore dinosaurs. And not only that, um, I think if I was to redo it, um, like a list of dinosaurs, Triceratops- Oh, so close, you bugger you! I don't fall for it. I, it doesn't matter how close we land on it, we're, we're not really there. Um, Triceratops would also make the cut now, because when you do tournaments, you use Triceratops all the time. I don't have many, hence the reason why there's only one. But it's like the worst dinosaur. Therefore, when you're doing these tournaments, you want the worst dinosaur, you can just easy swap to it. Like, put it in, done. So you use Triceratops. I, I have used Guanlon more than I have ever used T-Rex, more than I have ever used Velociraptor, Suchomimus, Allosaurus, because I use it in tournaments. It, it actually has a purpose in game. Probably, you know, when you first start, it has a purpose, but also end game, when you're just like grinding for the tournaments. So this is stuff that I should write down and be like, yeah, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> and then I can just spend a day being like, yeah, let's do this video. Let's get, get the footage. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, okay. So no idea what happened for the next like 20 odd minutes, 25 minutes. It recorded the audio, but it didn't record the footage. So I was just stuck with a freeze frame of Jurassic World the game while I continued to complete the Arctodis uh, tournament. So, I did it! We got a Dominator, we got 40 cups like every time. Um, I, I don't really know what to do here. I don't really want to put in a video that is just a freeze frame of the game playing and then me talking about what's happening in it when you can't see it. It's kind of like... My name is Lydia and I put spikes on all the dinosaurs because spikes is like what's really cool and it's like what kids like. So yeah, sorry about this weird technical issue. This has never happened before. Uh, either. So I have no idea what scores this and hopefully it doesn't happen again. My sincerest and humblest apologies. But we'll be back when I've completely unlocked it and the, the tournament's finished. So, uh, uh, on to the outro, James. Bye! <laughs> He's gonna have to rattle the video below an hour and we did it! Are you happy? Are you impressed? Like and subscribe! <laughs> we'll enjoy this video, guys. I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye.